How's it going? Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, I think March 29th, um, 2022. Again, just showing off some shades of yellows. I decided to grab um, all the birds that I believe carry the dilute gene. I could be wrong on the last two here, but for sure, I wanted to show off the look, the shade of these birds, you know? This is the daughter to this cogbird right here. See, I went over to Tennessee to visit Marco. And this is the bird that uh, Marco allowed me to select out the sky. And this bird was just tearing it up there. I mean, talk about a bird that just squeezes from start to finish. This is this is him. This is him. And then I have this bird. I'm not sure what he is. I'm pretty sure there's ash red in him. But I mean, this guy has been throwing me some really good birds and babies as well. This is a breeder. Um, and like I said, you know, goes to this girl. This girl is their sister of the cockbird with the muff feet. And she has been a super producer for me. Um, she bred me one of the fastest birds. 2018 that I flew for the World Cup. You know, goes back to this is I know for sure this bird has some indigo in her. Um, I've been asked to do a tail modifier deal. Uh, and uh, I'll show you the, the tail. That's the tail. And I think she's got some indigo in her. Yeah, that's her. Sorry, I'm doing this uh, as a one-man job. So, you know, there goes another daughter off from that cockbird that I got from Marco. You know, he's got that dark shade. So I don't know where that dark shade is coming from. I'm almost thinking that it might have some indigo in him, but I could be wrong. But that for sure is a recessive yellow. But this cockbird right here. This cockbird right here. He is going to be a main bird in my foundation to build some of the yellows. Hoping to get a sun that's equal value of him and performance. I mean, he was a hard spinning bird, super hard. Um, you know, he was short and he was deep. He went anywhere, the shortest I've seen him go was like 10, 15 feet, I believe. And the deepest I've seen him go was like at least 40. And just the frequency on him was good. This bird right here is also another bird as well. And she is also a 20 footer. Good control, good style good velocity I mean she's got the right roll that's why I put her away her older sister I flew her here in my loft and she was she was also really good I would say her sister was a nice 30 footer and she was also really really good clean smooth you name it you know they squeezed up in a roll um, but yeah like I said there's different shades to it I'm not sure what that is right there. It almost looks like a dilute, but then it looks like an ash red. Um, but again, like I said, the father had this kind of a look to him, but he was more, he was more like this yellow. So that's what threw it off for me. I don't know what to call it. But he passed away. And so that's where I stocked him and I stocked her. And there's two others that I stock too. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to show off the different shades of yellows. Um, and 
see what you guys think, but these are all the yellows I have in my loft. I believe that's all of them. I, I, th I think that's all of them right there. I don't have that many of them, but so far the ones that I have do perform. Um, so I'm not going to move away from them. I think I'll definitely use them in the future here. But we will see how it goes. You know, I'm not... My main focus is to eventually have a kit of them. But at the same time, that's not really my goal. My goal is to make sure they all roll first. And that they have the proper roll, the proper spin. And, um... Yeah, all these go back to Danny Corny Birds. Um, so in case you're wondering what family I have, I do fly the Danny Corny Birds. But yeah, I just kind of want to show you guys little bit of what I'm working with and uh, again I have another two cock birds an ash red check cock that carries a dilute gene he's the one that produced oh I don't have one of his babies but I have a black white flight and that's actually his daughter right there I also have another one I also have another one um, a pure recessive yellow hen that's on loan right now it's also a lot of him oh i do have a, a red uh yellow a yellow check that's out of that ash red that's also really good but yeah you guys just a little quick video show you guys off all the yellows that i have here in my loft and uh i don't have many so i don't have any for sale at the moment but you know who knows what the future holds um but yeah i do brief for performance and I'm pretty picky on what I put back um, into the breeding loft. And usually if they don't have it, I won't even try them. Um, I have tried younger birds. But in order for me to try them, they have to. They have to have the style that I like. Of all things, the style's got to be correct. In my opinion, it's harder to produce style than it is with depth or speed, in my opinion. Um, but style, style is, is number one for me. I could be wrong, but that's just the way I do things. And I believe that style has to be there before anything else. And <clears throat> therefore, you know, everything that I put away has to be an H or better. Um, but yeah, you know, there's so many methods, so many different ways out there. The whole point is to enjoy your your birds to the fullest and you know to me i enjoy anything that's smooth and clean and you know you don't you don't see all the flickering in the air you know you want to see that smoothness in the air so i have tried young birds you know i have tried young birds she was stock after year he was stock after a season and both of them have produced me some really good babies um, that I put in competition and I've been complimenting on their babies already. Um, he was my first bird last year. And the two babies right here are, <clears throat> are um, about 15, 25 feet right now. And, you know, I get a lot of hawks and falcons here. And with their speed and style, um, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'd rather give them a shot in the breeder pen. If they don't do it right, I'll put them back up in the air. You know, since they've flown here, they should be able to home pretty quickly. And taking them out for a year is not going to hurt them. So, um, I'm willing, that's a risk I'm willing to take. Especially if they become producers. Why not? Um, that's a win for me if they do. If they're not, well, they just go back up in the air and be another regular kit bird. But, you know... Like I said, everything to me before it goes into the stock loft has to be the style. They have to have the proper style. And, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes in the future here. Like I said, it's still a process. I try not to be, uh, to, to overthink things and make it more complicated than it should be. First thing is they got a kit, you know, kit first. They can't be a problem bird. They can't be an out bird. Um, they have to be in the kit, and I've never had issues with my yellow so far, knock on wood, of having them being outbirds. They've always stuck right in the middle of the kit, or on the outside of the kit, 
Um, never really a lead bird on my yellows. Um, but definitely they've always been in the middle and on the outside of the kit and they always worked it that way and so you know I've enjoyed them so far so they got a kit tight when they're young before they come in a roll I mean I don't want any albirds and then once they start rolling they have to have the heart to go and chase the kit and usually if you can't notice a bird in a kit that usually means that bird's doing everything right now you just gotta watch those birds to make sure that they perform is the next step you know and that's what i do so usually if a bird doesn't cause any trouble i'm not drawn to them and i never got drawn into my yellow birds before they never really caused me any issues um but then i do notice you know i'll have to sit back and like, look at the kit birds and then eventually watch them individually in the sky and that's how I found out, you know, my yellows are going 15, 20 feet. <clears throat> Cause you know, when you fly a big kit, like 30 plus birds, you can't see everything up in the air. But since I only had two yellows, they were pretty easy to pick out. And the only problem I ran into was confusing them with the lavender. You know, once they're up in the air, they're all light. So, um, had to take out the lavender to figure them out. Had to take both of them out and just put one in there to see what they could do. But, yeah, you guys, and hopefully you guys enjoyed some tips, I guess. Hopefully you guys learned something. Um, I don't consider myself a pro or anything, but I have been doing this for a while. I do enjoy them, and, you know, I've seen many, many kits uh, in my pigeon career. So, I, 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 I guess you could say I do know what role and what style that I like, and I'm not afraid to put them away, even if they're young, to give them a try. You know, I believe in those natural performers. It's just like a kid, you know. Not every kid can jump high. Not every kid can throw a ball accurately at a young age. You know, those are natural, you know. And that's what I look for. That's what I'm aiming for. You know, I don't want a bird that, you know, I have to prep up just to get them to do the things I want. It should come naturally to them. And that's the goal that I'm aiming for. And, uh... So I'm not afraid to try a young bird that that has almost a near perfect role when they're young. I'm not afraid to give it a shot. People can bash me all they want, but you know, it is what it is. I mean, I've seen improvements, and we will see in the next year or two here how how things will go. Um, like I said, I do enjoy competition, so I will be putting birds in competition, but definitely I'm just trying to figure out my living situation if I'm going to stay here and get an ordinance going or if I'm going to be moving somewhere else so I can get a little bit more land but once that's figured out I'm really going to kick start my uh, competition team and hopefully um, start competing more and getting more involved with it but yes guys these are my yellows hopefully you guys enjoy